How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. I am walking in water because this feels, it's nice, it's sunny and disgusting on my feet. And I don't know, oh, why is this so muddy? I like it, I like, oh, look at here, it's super quiet. There's like no one around, so I could be as stupid as I want. So anyways, let's just, just jump into it. Here's some really bad advice. Get the camera and I'll show you around. <laughs> Okay, so a world war is about to start and you want to know like what you should do to protect yourself. So you've come to the right place. This is the right video. Not really. This is probably a, the worst video you could probably watch. But anyways, I'm, I'm going to give you some advice and if you follow it, you're going to definitely survive, I think. Why are you guys watching a YouTube video anyways? First, check your passport. Is it up to date? Actually, go check it right now. I'll wait. Oh, you need to renew it. Okay. Take all your money out of the bank. Bury it deep, deep underground somewhere. Preferably somewhere that you can find it again. So preferably not at the double, what is it called? The Double K Ranch in Thule, Utah. Oh no, Utah? You should probably bury it under the frost line too, if you're like in Canada or whatever. Okay, uh, buy some stocks. If shit hits the fan, just buy some stocks. Cause stocks will plummet. Take it from me. I know. I don't, I don't even know if that's true. What do you want? It's like, this is really bad advice, I told you. But, I mean, they'll, they'll prob the stocks will probably drop, so it's not that bad of an idea. Maybe there's still gonna be companies what am I even talking about? <laughs> okay, don't okay, don't make it a priority. If you can buy some stocks, but you can't, that shouldn't probably be on the top of your list. I should have probably just started with this one because it's the least important one. Start your own army. If I had an army, I, I'd probably have a lot of guns. Ooh, ooh, what, what about build? Build your house like on the side of like a hillside, like one of those magical hobbit houses. Apparently on YouTube, you can build it in three days. Actually, I guess this advice kind of works for zombies too. Okay, so if you're in the middle of a zombie apocalypse, as well as a war, world war, holy crap. If you had a movie that had like a world war and then there was like a chemical weapon explosion or whatever, and then the zombies came out of that, that would be a good movie. Okay, so stock up on medicine. Lots of medicine for like the, a cough or the flu or the whooping cough. Actually, there was nothing I could take for that. <coughs> yeah, just, just go to your local uh, pharmacy and um, just, just start taking things and putting them in your pockets. It's cool, trust me, it'll be fine. Uh, they'll understand, don't worry about it. Ooh, or go to Costco. You can go to Costco for that kind of stuff. Water's so dirty. Oh, you know, you could probably take even cigarettes too, right? Cause cigarettes are like, don't they, don't they consider cigarettes like money in jail? Wait, what are we talking about jail? Well, maybe cigarettes will act like money in jail. Go feel. Two prison break references in one video. Not bad, huh? Basically hide all your valuable stuff in, in your house. Like, um, I don't know, like your TV remote. Like who's gonna steal your TV with no TV remote? Honestly, like who's gonna get up and change the channel? How savage are you? Are you really, are you really gonna walk up and change the channels on the TV if you steal the TV? You know, make your house look boring. So like they're like coming in, they're like looking around. They're like, oh man, this, this actually I feel bad for this guy. I should. I should probably give him something. I don't know, give him, a, give him a microwave. Actually, I do need a microwave. Okay, pack your bag. Pack your escape bag. You know, like in case you need to run. In case you need to run in the middle of the night, you have an escape bag. Like, do you really want to look for your expired passport in the middle of the night? Then just move, and then, and then move to Switzerland. <laughs> Actually, I should have started with that one. Scrap what I just said. Step one, move to Switzerland. Yeah, that, that's the only stop you need. This is such bad advice. Thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully this vlog, you had a good time watching this vlog. I'm getting married to Don next Saturday. So tune in for that vlog. If I don't post anything next Saturday, I'm really sorry. I'll be traveling, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to access whatever. Anyways, you get it. You guys keep our vlog life alive. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week for another vlog. Bye.